Okay, now now you're now I'm live, I believe. Just give it a second, because I thought I was live and I wasn't. I had it set up to go live. I just hadn't pushed the live button yet. I was I was wrong. But I should be live now, I think. Let's see. It doesn't even show our show for today. Okay, turn it around here and I will get you rocking and rolling later. Right there. Oh, look, I did the. T I touched the screen too. I'm so used to touch screens. There you go. All right. I think we got it. We should be live now. Okay. Let's see. Yep. There's Teresa. Hi, Sandra. Sandra said hi. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Do you see the chat coming up yet over there? Just said her mail. Hi. She's the first one. Sandra, you are the first one in the room. San Teresa says, good luck, Sam and Dave. Now we have Blue Flamingo. Hi, how you doing? I need to get my cheat cards so I can remember, you know, I did a little cheat list so I can remember everybody's names today. Um. <clears throat> Teresa's driving says, no, I was. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. You go away. <laughs> now go away. <laughs> it's Lori. Lori. It is Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Yep. Hi, Grace. Nice to see you. I'm, I'm running through my list of people right now um, and trying to make sure I get everybody's names correctly. Um, some of them I remember. Not everybody's do I remember. I try. Still sort of new. Hi, Terry. How are you doing? Sam, I can't see, the, see you on here. Oh, you can't see? We're having a little bit of tech. There I am. That's me. What do you mean? Wait, oh, that one. Somehow you did that just a second. Uh, okay. Quit now. <laughs> I know. It, it, it seems like every week it's uh, something with, with YouTube, and sh I have to go through StreamYard yet, so um, we'll get it figured out. Hi, Nate. Hi, Jeffrey. How you doing, guys? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate everybody coming today. I don't know if you all seen my... Um, Preview, got a lot of neat things. And then I went yesterday, me and my mom, Daisy, um, and we found like, I don't know, I think I bought 21 sets of salt and pepper shakers. It was um, salt and pepper shaker heaven. And the lady was like, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. So that was nice. All right, get my papers here. Everybody lined up. Okay. Um, we're gonna get started here in a minute, guys. Just looking at the chat to see what all is happening. Everybody have a good week, I hope. How's the weather in um, New Zealand, Nate? Is it, uh, it's sort of rainy here a little bit. There's a little sprinkling a little bit, I guess. Um, uh, I do, uh, Terry, I have some salt, uh, I have some salt and pepper shakers. Those won't be, the ones I just got yesterday aren't, they're not in the sale yet. I actually, right before the sale, me and mom, we, um, we unwrapped them because I didn't even have them unwrapped yet. Um, cause I've been so busy. I, I had, I had traveled yesterday a little bit, um, from home and, um, I was so tired when I got home 
last night. So I um, on wrap them today. You know, look at the thrill of the thrift. Hi, D. Hi, the thrill of the thrift, D. Let's see. Nate. Nate says it is cold today, drizzly. Yesterday was beautiful, though. Well, I don't. I don't. Yesterday here, it was so windy. Oh my gosh. There was actually, when we went to my sister's, we looked out and there was stuff blowing down the street, like kids, big kids toys from outside toys. They were blowing down the street and it was like, oh my gosh, it, the wind was just horrible. Sandra Mayo says she got her package. Oh, good, Sandra. I'm glad you got your package. Everything was in good condition. Uh, oh, Teresa, I went to my sister's uh, yesterday. She owns a antique store in uh, a little town here called Macon. And it's about an hour from my house. It's about an hour. And uh, I always allow myself about an hour and 15 minutes to get there. And it's called Tudor's Treasures because we call her Tudor. Um, and she's got a nice little antique store there, which is um, where we went yesterday. And, and then I hit another antique shop there in that same town. And the lady there, really nice lady that owns that, her name is Erica. And she has, I believe it's called the Red Door. And um, she's always got some nice things. But you you have to walk like sideways because it's so packed full of things that um, stuff is just stacked on top of things. It, it's just, it's it's a hard one to to maneuver through. But like I said, I, I picked up some planters there, uh, which will be probably a next week's sale. And I picked up um, the salt and pepper shakers. So we got some really neat, some I have never seen before. So they were really, really neat. Uh, Teresa, yeah, there's other shops there. I just can't remember all the names of them. Yeah, Grace, I love to dig. So it's like my one of my favorite shops to go into. They just, you just have to move things and dig through everything. Um, so I don't, I don't mind that at all. And then, and to me, sometimes the more it's stacked, the better prices you get on things. And, um, I, I love stores like that. I just, I love shops like that. All right. Looks like we got about 22 people watching right now. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not sure what to start with, but, um, um, and I, there again, I put some stuff in the sale today that are a little higher priced than, than some people sell. Um, but like I always say, I want to offer it to you first because I do have a, um, a, um, what is it called? eBay. I have an eBay store. Or it's not a store. It's just listings on eBay. And, um, so, but I think I, I just want to offer it to you guys first. And if you want it, that's fine. If not, uh, I also have a little booth in my sister store, Tudor's Treasures in Macon, and um, I, I put some of the stuff there, some of the stuff I put on eBay, because I, I buy bigger items too, you know, some furniture things and, and different stuff. Um, but, so there is some that's a little higher priced. Like I said, I, I'm going to offer to you first. If it doesn't work, then we will, I'll try it in the other places. Um, but we're going to get started, and I'm going to start with a salt and pepper shaker set that I found. Um, let's see. Um, I'm located in Missouri, so your your um, items will be shipped from Missouri, and I will send you an invoice after the sale and, and add your shipping and everything everything to it. So let's get to rolling. The first set that I'm going to sell today is the salt and pepper shakers. Really neat little set. Like I said, I had not seen these before. I did look some things up online, but I never go by those prices. I price them by what I give for them. Um, ouch, let me get the sticker off of it and show the sticker to Daisy, our mom. Um, this is the little set I have. They're um, these here. They are so cute. They do have the Japan stickers. One has a cork and one does not. These are, um, well, I can't remember the name of them. I think um, it's T-H-A-M-E-S. Is that 
uh, Time, Times, Time, Time, I don't, I can't tell you the name of them, but they are Japan pieces. Uh, there's no chips, no cracks or anything like that. Like I said, one has a stopper, one doesn't. They do have the souvenir on uh, sticker on the back and it says souvenir of Memphis, Tennessee. These are $15. And they are number 11, $15 number 11. Hi, Casey. They, they were online and they, someone had them listed and there was a, I think it was another piece with them and they were, they were wanting like a hundred dollars for them. And I'm like, goodness gracious, that's ridiculous. But really cute little clown face teapots, salt and pepper shakers. No chips, no cracks, uh, little paint issues here and there. Oh, that's a sticker. That's what that sticker was. I think there's a, on the mouth here, it looks like they overpainted the mouth right there. It's just a little bit of the paint and probably scratch off because they're cold painted and they are redware. $15, number 11. Make sure I, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody coming in the room. I didn't get to say hi to them. Embellished by Bev. Nice to see you here. Next piece I have. I'm going to put that sticker back on though so I don't forget. Next piece I have is going to be a planter. I'm gonna get the sticker off the bottom of it. And someone named Debbie claimed it. I, I know she didn't, she did not make it. It is a, a um, it's not a home piece, but they wrote their name on the bottom of it. But it is Rub-A-Dub-Dub, -dub, Three Men in a Tub. And it's a planner. It looks like in the bottom, there's some little marks there. It looks like somebody might've used it for a pen holder. I tried to get those out as best I could, but you know, if you use it for a planner, you're gonna put dirt in it anyway. Really neat little piece. Little paint loss there, as you see on his suspenders. Um, and I love the little fish down at the bottom right here. Looking up at them in their tub. Um, trying to see if there was anything else that I can't remember. Right here on the front, there's a little piece of the paint chipped off. But it is what I would call a little flea bite. Nothing major. Other than that, no chips, no cracks. It is $16 and it's number 25. $16, number 25 for the three men in the tub planter. Blue Flamingo, I think. Blue Flamingo, I have you for the, the planter. You got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll move to the next piece. I don't know what to do next. I don't know why I always have a, make it a hard decision on what to, to put next. Um, let me look real quick. I want to do... I'm going to do this little planter here. It's a cute little plant. This is a cute little planter too. It's the little, the little googly eyed dog, big eyed dog. He's a planter. He's got some crazing, um, but I didn't find any chips or cracks on him as well. He's really cute. He's a nice size. He is about six inches tall. Really cute little piece. He is marked on the bottom hand painted. So I'm guessing they're talking about his little mouth there and his eyes. And he is made in Japan. Yeah, made in Japan. 
He is $12 and he's number 51. $12 number 51 for the big eyed dog planter. Like I said, he's pretty good size. I'm going to set that right back there, Mom. Right. I've got a little ashtray here. They're calling it an ashtray. Um, it is really cute. I've not seen this one at all. It's it's a different one, too. It's got, um, it's a little, it's a lion. And right here, there's a little place that you would lay your cigarette on. But I guess you could use it as a little planter, toothpick holder, whichever. It is marked on the bottom, made in Japan. Right there. It's not very big. It is about two and a half inches tall. And it is about three and a quarter inches long. It is $10 and it's number 53. $10, number 53, for the Lion Ashtray slash toothpick holder planter. The next piece I have is this um, lady. Stick it off of her as well. Um, on the bottom, she is marked. I don't know if you can see that. S A J I. Yeah. And it is uh, occupied Japan. It's called Fancy China. She's really pretty. I love her fan and everything. There's a little fan and oh, I got a little folks in her face. She is in really excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks or anything on her. She is about 12 and a half inches tall. I love the beautiful yellow dress she's wearing. It's really pretty. I wish I could get her a little closer for you, but I have to put that down, I think. She is really pretty. Uh, like I said, excellent condition. She's $18, and she's number 10. $18, number 10. Got her flowers on her fan. Little flowers in her hair. I don't know if she's a geisha, I think. Nice little piece. $18, number 10. Hi, Judy. Nice to see you. Don't know where to set her. Hang on, I'll take her. Well, I'll leave her pretty close to me in case I need her again. Um, all right, next we're going to do this little dog. Little dog here. It's Lusterware. It is marked on the bottom, Japan, right there. He has no cracks, no chips, uh, or anything like that. He's um, 
the only thing I can see is maybe he's a little, a little paint loss on the end of his nose there. Nice little piece. He is approximately about four inches tall. Cute little tail. Everything's in good condition. Um, he's ten dollars and he's number 24. Ten dollars, number 24. Lusterware dog made in Japan. Or, well, it doesn't say made in Japan. It just says Japan on the bottom of it. A set of, I think they're blue jays, birds. They have their stoppers and their, mark, uh, their Japan sticker on the bottom. They are salt and pepper shakers. I found no chips or cracks on those. Looks like one's trying to fly away and the other one's just sitting there. Really good condition on those. Those are $12 and they're number 35 for the Bluebird salt and pepper shakers. $12, number 35. For the salt and pepper shakers. Okay, we're going to do a piece of jewelry. Oh, i got to open this next one. It's going to be a brooch. I can't see anything today. I don't know what's going on with my eyeballs, but I can't see a thing today for some reason. Let me get the sticker off of that. And it is the little trolley. And it is enameled. It has rhinestone wheels. It's got the regular pin back on it. It does work fine. It's $10 and it's number 38. $10, number 38 for the trolley car brooch. It is not marked. Yeah, thanks Nate. It is a it is a cute it is cute brooch. And all the all the enamel is really good on it and uh, it has all of its rhinestones and everything like it should. Next piece I have is a Japan um, Redware. And it is this cute little cat. It holds your letters. And it has a pencil right where its tail used to, or supposed to be, I guess. But it's where you put your pen. And then in the front, he's got his little pot here that you, you know, they put the little Dobbin sponge for the stamps in the front of it. He's $12 and he is number 57. And he is marked Japan on the bottom. $12, number 57, Redware Cat card holder. Jeffrey Ross, is that? Correct? Jeffrey, I have Jeffrey for that, yes. Jeffrey, you were first in on that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to 
gonna go ahead and get this, this piece out of the way here. It's pretty good size. But it's not heavy, you know, per se, but it is a pretty good size piece. Like I said, this is one, you know, like I said, it's gonna be a little higher price than some things, but it's one of them I wanna offer to you guys first before I put it online. It is the cat cookie jar. There are no cracks of any kind that I've seen anywhere. There is on the on these little nose here, he's missing a little piece of the paint. It's not really a chip that goes in to the piece. It's just where the paint is chipped off his nose. Somebody probably bumped him. And then the same here. There's a little place right there. And it seems like there was one more. But it's they're so hard to see. And right here on the back of him, but that's on the back of him. So you'd have him sitting like this. They wouldn't see those. And he is marked Japan there on the bottom. This little, little hat or lid, little yellow knob. He's in really, really, to me, in good condition. He is $35. He's holding cookies and everything. He's $35 and he's number 27. $35, number 27. He is, or she, he or she, is about 10 and a quarter inches tall. Yeah, Sandra, you could do the cat, the cat treats in it, of Tippy course. Mm -hmm. uh, Tippy Winks Vintage, which is Christy Gaza. You got that one, lady. Okay. You must have snuck in on me, Christy. I didn't see ya. Next, we're going to do... Now, this is sort of a different piece. This is an ex like an exclusive piece that... Um, it came out in the 80s. And, um, you know, when... When they did Tupperware a lot, the, the Tupperware shows. This is a Tupperware representative. Um, it says special edition made exclusively for Tupperware, series one. Made in well, it's got a little. Then it's got a little foil sticker that says "Made in Taiwan" on it. But I just think it's so cute. Look at the little Tupperware pieces. It's got the little Tupperware. Um, canisters set in there and the little dishes and everything from Tupperware and she's holding the little Tupperware bowls and um, it's really cute uh, I found no chips or cracks her fingers and thumbs and everything are good um, no paint loss it's actually painted really nice it's pretty good size it is just a little over eight inches tall she's twelve dollars and she's number eight $12, number eight for the older piece of, I guess, Tupperware representative piece. Oh, I did sticker. Oh, there it is. Thought I lost my sticker. Okay, next we're going to do, it is a powder box. It's got the lady sitting there. Well, if I can get her turned right, you can see her. And right down here at the bottom, right there, she's got a little, there's a little cat. It's like she's playing with the little cat while she's sitting there in like one of those, um, oh, hammocks. She's really, really pretty. Um, it is a, I can't even say the name of it. It was, um, White Shoulders was in it at one time. And it still has, like on the powder puff that's in the top of it, when you take the lid off, 
it's got your little the plastic piece that you put your little extra powder in. it's got a little bit and there's still some on the little powder puff but it had white shoulders in it um little lead to screws off now where it screws off right over here on the side it looks like there's a crack um but like i said it's it, that doesn't hurt the lead going on and off or anything like that. And it still fits on there really tight. And uh, when I looked up a while ago, the, the, the name, it was E-N, what was it? Uh, I can't think. Oh, goodness. E-N-Y-A-N. I, don't, I can't remember the name of it. But there it is on the front. And that first letter with the circle on top, right? here i think that's an e-n-y-a-n -E but and it's plastic it is eight dollars and it's number five and one that was full with powder i think it sold for like fifty dollars when it still had the powder in it and then there was one that didn't have any powder in it and it didn't have its puff and it sold for 22 but this one is eight dollars number five. Oh, you saw this today judy at the antique mall oh chris you you took a nap <laughs> that's okay you made it Yeah, do you, do you remember Judy? What what did they have on it? Because I mean, it was just sort so it was sort of like all over the board when I looked it up. Um, but, but the cheapest that I seen it even listed was ten dollars, and um, then it once sold for twenty two something, and then if it was had the powder in, it, like I said, it was like fifty dollars. I just I I look things up just to sort of get an idea. Like I said, I go by what I give for them and. And then I sell it. Oh, your hands were full. You've done been shopping today, girl. Next piece is this is a return piece because I've had it in one of my sales before, but I thought it was so cute. It deserved a second chance. It is a little zebra planter, or I guess you could put toothpicks or whatever you want it to in it. It stands just a little over three inches tall. It is made in occupied Japan. It has it on the bottom. Um, the only thing I found with it is like when they made it, it looks like they had a little extra piece of um, ceramic that um, stayed on the piece and they just glazed over it. So there's a little bump there, but otherwise no chips, no cracks, everything in good order. It is $9 and is number 45. Nine dollars, number forty-five, for the little zebra planter. Mary Jo, somebody. Mary Jo, I haven't seen you in here before, Mary Jo, but nice, to, nice to see you. Just remember to send me your information. I'm sure you probably bought stuff at other sales, so you sort of know what to do. My email is on the screen there. All right, thanks, Mary. Appreciate it. I would try to say your last name, but I would probably butcher it because I am not good at pronouncing things. The Coke guy, something like that. I don't know. I, I'm like I said, I am not good at pronouncing things at all. Judy, something's got a question. Um, I was about to ask you. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, Christy, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind other people, you know, uh, telling people to go to another website or look at this or look at that or, or I mean, that, that's fine. I mean, I don't have an issue with it at all. If somebody has a, you know, like 
like uh, Christy, if you want to put your um, YouTube channel name in there, you go right ahead, girl. I don't mind at all. I don't. I don't. Okay. Next up, I'm going to have here, and it's three little uh, vintage, they're Huck towels. Um, and they'll have the, the needlework on this one, and it's pink. Um, now, the other end just has the one line, but it's in really good condition. I found no major anything, no holes. No stains um, on the little pink one and then this one here has the embroidery flowers on it and it also has the crocheted uh, edge um, or maybe that's tatting it may be tatting in really good shape as well the other end is just um, it has the tatted end on it as well but no picture and then the other little piece it has the little girl walking her dog, the little Southern Belle, and it has the tatting on the, the edge of it as well. The other end um, just has the one little roll of single tatting, where this one has more of a decorative tatting on it. I found no major stains of any kind. On this one, all there is is I found a little spot right there. Um, otherwise, in excellent condition. You'll get all three of them. They're $12, and they are number 47. $12, number 47 for the three Huck Towels. Hi, Maria. How are you in today? Next up, I'll go ahead and do my last piece of, of linen. For some reason, I, I don't seem to sell much linen, but uh, I've got some really nice pieces. This is the next piece. It has the deer on it. It's got a lot of neat work on that piece. It is really nice. It also has it on the other side as well because this is a long, this is a runner. Now this runner is, forgot to measure it beforehand. Let's see, it is, let me start over because I didn't quite have it at the end. 18, 18 and 18. What's 18 and 18? Oh, <laughs> it's 37 inches long because it's another inch after that. And it is um, about 12 inches wide. And like I said, it has all the needlework at both ends. It has the deer there and the deer down there. Now, yeah, um, on the on this piece here, it, it's got it does have a faded spot on the oh sweet we lost it on the uh, crocheted edging there. It, it's it's lighter, like somebody must have got something on it, or maybe it was in a window, or and it faded it a little bit. And then the um, bottom part, right down here, there is a little watermark. Now I have not tried to clean this. I do believe with my experience with linens, which I've, I've washed a lot of old linens, just a little soak in some um, OxyClean uh, would probably bring that out. It is $12 and it's number 46. $12, number 46 on the table runner. It's 37 by 12. Yes, Maria, it is. It is almost a lost crap. Not many people do it because they buy the machines um, and that do the embroidery work for them. 
which I have one of those, um, but I don't really use it. $12, number 46. All right, next up is going to be, let me see if I can get it all laid out here. It's a, it's a, it's four pieces. They all go together. It is the uh, mid-century modern florals. They are, they're 10 and they're on a card, you have a cardboard back and they all have the little loop hanger at the top. I'm not sure what kind of flowers they are, but they are all really, really nice. I know these are roses here. And it also has the same kind of back with a hook. This is the next one. Really nice condition. That one here, this one here is the only one that, you know, I think, you know, it's, it's still in good shape. It's got a little dent if you can see them along the side there there's a couple there and um i thought there were, oh yeah one right here can't even notice it at all when you have them hanging on the wall and then the last one is like little day lilies really nice little pieces they measure each one of them is about 14 and three quarter inches long and they are six and a quarter wide. And I guess you, I mean, I guess you would display them all four hanging together because you're gonna get all four pieces. Like I said, they are like a, a 10. Uh, they are $24 for the four pieces, and they're number one. $24, number one, for the four pictures, mid-century modern, number one. It's sticking back under here. Oh, I'm sorry. My dog decided to come over and lay by my feet, so I just accidentally bumped into you. I'm sorry. All right, up next, we're going to have this little. creamer it's an elephant good paint is still really good it's got these little tusks here on the front little eyes hi pat how you doing um he is he's he's marked on the bottom i just can't read it and i want to say he's shawnee but i'm not 100 percent um on it but i can't read it's it's down in the glaze there and I just can't read it properly so I hate to tell you that it's Shawnee and it's not um, but it reminds me so much of it no chips no cracks really good condition it is $12 and it is number 52 for the elephant creamer $12 number 52 for the elephant creamer Yeah, Grace, he is really cute. I think he'd be wonderful on someone's table. He's a really cute piece. Look at these little feet. Like he's got these little toenails showing. $12, number 52 for the elephant creamer.
Okay. Next piece I have is going to be this deer planter. He is approximately about six and three quarters inches tall. And he is right around from the tip of his tail to his nose, about three and a quarter wide. Does have paint loss. Looks like there was some paint in his ears. Now, manufacturally done, he has a little a notch right here on the back of his neck. Looks like they hit him with a, a, a one of those, you know, ceramic knives or whatever they use. And here in the front as well. But he is so cute. Little planter. He's $14 and number 55. $14 number 55 for the deer planter. Blue Flamingo Mercantile. Got that. Okay. Let's get our next item here. And oh, I love this piece. This is so cute. I've had her for a while and I keep thinking I'm going to put her in a cell. I'm going to put it in a cell and then I don't. And then like this time I'm just going to do it. I just love her. She is so cute. It is a swan cart with the little queen setting there. My lighting is so bad today. I don't know what it is. The lighting seems really bad. Really dark. She is marked on the bottom right here, and it says made in occupied Japan. No chips, no cracks. Paint is very good on her. Um, don't see anything major at all. She is so sweet. I thought about keeping her for myself, but I can't. Gotta, gotta let go. Can't keep everything. But I just absolutely love this little piece. $14 and it's number nine. $14 number nine for the little swan cart queen planter. You want me to turn the light on over the stove? Uh, uh, no. Um, I may have to put my Tippy ring. Links. I might have to turn my ring on, I think. Christy got that one. I'll write that down, Christy. Put the sticker back on it. Hi, Darren. Glad you can make it. Um, next, we're going to do. Now, the next the next pieces I'm going to do. There's four of them. They will be so much each, and the first person that bids on them can either take one or four. That's however you want to do it. And then the next person, there's someone after that, they can have their choice of what's left um, of them as well. And they are the little cups and saucers. The, uh, the saucers are four inches across. They are marked on the bottom. Merit, M-E-R-I-T, made in occupied Japan. The little cups are at the widest point from the leaf, or the I guess it's a flower, so the petal over to each side is two and a quarter inches wide and they stand one and a quarter inches tall. They are really pretty. No chips, no cracks. Everything is really nice on them. Little handle there has the gold all around it. 
as well as the gold on the saucers. They are in, and they're all just alike, except for the color. There's the green one. And actually there's two green ones. The yellow. They are really cute. To me, they, they remind me of like little fairy cups. The, they're flowers with the little handles and the vine on the handles. All of them are marked, both pieces. That's the yellow. And there is a pink. These are $12 a piece. So that would be each one, one or one or four. This is the other little green one. Like I said, they're all, no chips, no cracks. I can't remember which one I had my tag on. So I remember the number. They're $12 each and they're number 13. Like I said, you can take one or four or two or three. Doesn't matter, it's whatever, whatever you wanna do. Mary Jo, Mary Jo, you are the first one up. Would you like one, which color, or all four, or two? It just doesn't make me any difference. However you want to get them, just tell me the color and the quantity. They're twelve dollars a piece. Two green and yellow. So you want the you want one green one. And one yellow one. I'll set those to the side. And those are for you. I gotta find them on my paper here so I can mark those two colors down. Okay, Pat Hall. Pat Hall. I have two left. I have a green one. I have the green one and the pink one. Would you like them both? Are just one. They're twelve dollars a piece. They're number thirteen. Yes. One green. She wants one green one. Okay, so you got the first one down for me. And what colors they want? Yeah, I got Mary Jo down. She wanted a green and yellow. Okay. Because I'm not going to write anything there. I'm going to rely on your paper. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to. And uh, Maria of California. Maria, you want the last one? I have you for it. And it's it's the um, it's the little pink one, which is my favorite too, because you know I love pink. I mean, my name my channel is Pink Elephant Parlor, but I live on Pink Elephant Road, and. <laughs> So it's sort of worked out. Oh, hi, um, Brenda. Uh, how are you doing? She said hi to you too, Mom. Hi. Brenda. Okay. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get everybody's names. Oh, that will be so pretty, Mary Jo, putting the little mini violets with them. Yes. Yes, Maria, the, the, the pink one for cancer awareness. Yeah. But my bedroom and my bathroom are also pink. Um, I, I just went a little pink crazy, I think. All right, so we got all of those done. How you been doing, Brenda? Have a good week? Oh, yes, Maria, putting a tea light in it would be pretty. Okay, next I think we're going to do, um, oh, if I can get it out of here, it's a pretty good size. We're going to be doing a, um, yeah, she just deleted it. No. We're going to do this cat planner. Now this is a handmade piece. Um, it is not marked anything on the bottom. I don't even see where the person didn't even um, put their initials on it, which is sort of sad. I would, I mean, as pretty as job as they did, I think I would have initialed it. It's a big um, Himalayan cat. 
place for you to put your plant in or flowers. It did have some flowers in it when I first got it, but um, my cat attacked it in the middle of the night and I didn't realize it. And when I got up next morning, I had little flowers everywhere. You know, but they, they were sort of dried out. So they weren't, I wasn't going to sell them with it anyway. So that was all right. This is um, 10 and a half inches long and it sets about five and a quarter high. Nice size piece. It's $12 and it's number four. $12 number four. Like I said, it's a nice size piece. It's cute, but it's not, it's not really heavy Jeffrey is what you would think it would be. All right. I have Jeffrey for that. I'm going to have to do something with this hair. My hair, it's just long enough where every time I move my arm, it goes under my arm and then it pulls. All right, let's put that back over here for Jeffrey. Here, let me oh, I'm going to hand down. I think I'm going to hand that to you when we set it over on the kitchen counter. Thank you. Um, okay. Let me pull out these next items here. <laughs> it's okay. Next piece up is going to be this swan planter. Swan planter is a pretty good size. It's got a little weight to it, but not, not bad. It's not bad at all. I've, I've shipped heavier pieces than this. Um, it's right about, I would say, eight inches tall and about eight and a half inches long. And at the widest point, it is about five and a half inches wide. It does have a sticker right here. And it says, um, what's it say? I forgot. Originals in Stanford Ware. I can't read that. Seabird, sea, sea, sea ring. Really nice piece. Beautiful. No chips, no cracks, no paint loss. The gold is really nice on it. See how shiny that gold is? Really, really pretty on it. I love the top. It is in really excellent condition. This pink swan is $18, and it's number six. $18, number six, for the swan planter. And it is... Stanford Ware, which I believe is Japan. Really, really pretty. I mean, you can just see the gold shining on it. No chips, no cracks. Excellent condition. Number six, $18. Sticker, I thought I lost it. Okay, next up. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody that came in. I'm bad about that. I try to watch, but next up I have are these little occupied Japan. And they are, I guess you can use them for several different things. You could use them as a little tea bag holder if you want it. But I think they're actually made, since there are these two little dips right here, they are chopstick rests. Um, they are marked made in Occupy Japan on the back, every one of them. I have seven of these. They are $6 each. Uh, minimal paint loss. Um, Trying to see if there was one that had anything massive. Um, the only really paint loss I see on, on, on them, 
on most of them is just like right here on his beard. And I think it's where they rest and they've stacked them together and it, and it rubs there. And then this is the only one I see that has any flaw up here on the green and it's just a little bitty place. Um, no, no chips that I've seen anywhere. Um, like I said, they're $6 a piece. I have seven of them. Again, same thing with like the little saucers. You can have one or seven or one or two or three or however you want to do it. Six dollars each and they're number 32. Number 32 for the chopstick rest. And I need to get a drink just a minute, guys. It's starting to get a little dry. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I know, it's a big bottle, isn't it? <laughs> I should have put it out in a glass. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't really thinking. I was just trying to get on, get on live uh, on time. Six dollars each, number 32. Like I said, right here is where your chopsticks lay. Just like that, you rest them. I guess you could always put soy sauce. Is that how you say it? So soy, so soy sauce in them as well. But those are really cute. Jeffrey Ross. He, no, he got number four. Okay, my, he got number I four. got number four. No. Nope. Um, no, it's my computer. My uh, backwards one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Nope, nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to these over here to the side for a minute. Okay, next up, we're going to do another planter. Imagine that, guys, another planter. I have this little monkey planter. He is really cute. He is, um, let's see how tall he is. He is about seven and a half inches tall, and he's about five and a quarter wide. Now, if you see there on the front of him, he does have some chips off the black of his little vest there. Easy fix with a little permanent black marker, I'd say. Um, I'm trying to see if he had any little chips or anything on his toes, but I don't think so. It's a little rough on his toes. There may be a one little chip on this little last toe right there, but it's really sm small if there is. Um, but his, the vessel part of the back of him here is in really good condition. No chips or cracks. He is $15 and he's number 50. I mean, I'm sorry, he's number 29. $15, number 29 for the little monkey planter. Wearing his little vest. Like I said, he does have little chips there on the front. Several of them. That's why he's only $15 or he would have been a little bit more than that. Next, we're going to do a salt and pepper shaker set. And these are made Occupy Japan, and they are the little watermelons. Now that light spot you see in the middle is supposed to be there. Um, this one here is supposed, to, the light spot is supposed to be there, it's the way they're made. But now on this one, you'll see right there is even a little bit of a lighter spot, and it's a little piece of the paint missing. Cork in the bottom, made in Occupy Japan, st stamped on the bottom. That one has his cork too. Now the corks are a little inverted a little bit, so it might be hard to get them out. But I don't see any chips or, or cracks. They're $10 and they're number 17. $10, number 17.
move that to the side. Okay, next I have this little duck. It's not marked on the bottom. It's really cute. It still has the original, and they've never been opened, little toothpick, toothpicks in there. Um, so he's a little toothpick holder or whatever you want him to hold. Oh, almost oh. dropped him. Oof. No chips, no cracks. He's about four inches tall. And he's six dollars. And he's number 21. Six dollars, number 21 for the little duck toothpick holder. All right, next I have, and I had a really hard time finding, I, I couldn't find anything on these online. Um, I didn't really know how to put them in, but I'm gonna cover her up, but so she's naked on top. But she's uh, a little lady there, and got her little fellow with her. They are both marked Occupied Japan. They are right about six inches tall, on the woman and about the, the same thing on the man. Um, they, like I said, they are marked Occupied Japan on the bottom of each one of them. Um, the woman is trying to put her turban on her head, it looks like. The man has his on. They are really neat little pieces. Um, I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything like that. They're $16 for the pair, and they're number 33. $16, number 33 for the man and woman in turbans. Keep bumping them together. Keep bumping them together like that. They won't have no turbans on no more. <laughs> I need to refresh my page, I believe. So I'll look way back here. Oh, here. All right, cool. Let me hold them up one more. Oh, I don't have her bits proper. I don't want to get in trouble for that. $16, number 33. And they're six inches tall. I'm gonna break something else. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe you have to turn the lights on. Oh yeah. Next, we're gonna do a piece of jewelry. It is this necklace. This is a vintage necklace. The whole strand is rhinestones all the way around. To take it off this thing here real quick so you can see all that. The little stone is around it are um oh the the little stones around the outside are purple and the one in the center is um red with the little clear diamond rhinestones around it. With the fringe rhinestones at the bottom. He said it's rhinestones all the way down. There's no rhinestones missing at all. It has the old hook uh, piece that just hooks back in to it. It is a nice little piece. The full length of this chain lane looks laying out like this is. Seventeen inches long. This piece is twenty six dollars, and it is number forty three. Twenty six dollars, number forty three. All the rhinestones are prong set. Makes it a little higher price piece when they did that. Twenty six dollars, 
number 43. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful piece. Kitty Winks, okay. Christy, yeah, uh, it is. Christy, it is, it's beautiful piece. I've seen them go for three times that much, that piece. I got Christy for that number 43. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's a gift for your mom. She's going to love it. It is beautiful. Next, I'm going to do another necklace. Do a couple pieces of jewelry here real quick. Then we'll get back into the other things. This necklace here is the other one I had in, in my preview. It is the green Aurora Borealis. These are, these are glass. These are absolutely beautiful. I've not seen this color. Uh, usually you see the clear that has the uh, Aurora Borealis uh, effect to them. Um, it is double strand. It does have the stones all the way up to the bigger stone on the end with the hook, a little hook closure here on it as well. They measure, again, right about 16 and a half inches. Very pretty, very pretty set. And they're they're they got does some weight to them. Does oh, does it glow? No, they do not glow. But they sure sparkle. But they sure do sparkle. <laughs> yeah, they they do sparkle. Yeah, I wish they glowed. I only I put eight. They're eighteen dollars. If they glowed, Terry. Let me or not Terry. Um. Christy, they would be more than eighteen dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, they would be on. I mean, they would be remarkable if they if they if they glowed. But they're eighteen dollars, and it's number forty four. Still a very beautiful piece. Eighteen dollars, number forty four. Terry bought those. Terry, you are going to absolutely love those. They are, they're, they're beautiful. They, someone will see you definitely walking in the room, you guys, with those two necklaces. Let me put the tag back on it. Yeah, they're stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, let's do, we're going to do this piece here. Um, if I can find the sticker on it. This is a piece that I did look up and I couldn't find any markings on it to prove to myself that it was Westmoreland. And if the pieces online uh, that I looked at that were showing, uh, being Westmoreland were selling for $120. Uh, I don't, there's no, like I said, there's no markings, so I don't, I don't know whether it is or not. And I, I, I want to say it is, and it's just not marked that way, but it is the, I put a, I put a little fairy lights in it. I thought they were so cute that way, but that way you can see the, the color change. It uh, is the Amberina, red and the yellow Amberina two piece and there's the little fairy lights I put in there. Really, really pretty piece. Um, it is, what is it? It is, try to see how tall it is. It is about 10 and a quarter inches tall and it is right about six and a quarter wide really really pretty piece it is thirty dollars and it's number two thirty dollars number two 
on the Amberina Rooster. I don't know if you can, if I did it like this, you could see the color. It's, it's really pretty, the color in it. $30, number two. Yeah, Christy, it is. It is a really, really pretty piece. The colors of it, when the light, when I put the light in there, just so pretty. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it back. Okay. Does it say anything in the lid? Someone wants to know. Tiffany wants to know. Yeah, I looked in the lid and um, I couldn't find anything. <laughs> I, I couldn't find anything on it, uh, which is surprising because I know it's an old piece, um, but I found nothing up inside the lid or, or anything. It's really pretty though. Really, really pretty. Yeah, I looked in, I looked in the bottom, you know, the bottom piece. I looked in the lid. I looked on the bottom of the piece everywhere. And I was hoping to find a, a W, but so it was number thirty-two. Or it was number. It was thirty dollars, and it was number two. Okay. Okay. The next piece I have is little white cat he does have blue eyes it is I always like to tell people how tall things are if I can sometimes I have a hard time measuring them five and a half inches tall and at the widest point it looks to be right about four and a half inches wide cute piece it does um, have the little pads on the bottom of it, so you can set it on your on a piece without scratching anything. It is really cute. I think not a hundred percent, but I think it is a handmade piece by the way it feels. Um, the little face has these little whiskers and everything. He's got a little pink in his ears. He's really cute. It's twelve dollars, and he's number nineteen. $12, number 19, for the little white cat with blue eyes. <clears throat> mm hmm. I was looking at said charity, but I don't know what that. Oh, means. it's a little emoji face oh. with hearts on it. Okay, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it doesn't have it, but a little line on that. <laughs> oh. I slept a little wrong last night, guys, and I, I'm telling you, I've been having an issue with that the last couple of weeks. The next piece up is this little pixie sitting on a snail. Does have paint loss, of course, on the on the hat because it you know the the red is there is coal painted it is marked on the bottom made in occupied japan it is sixteen dollars and it's number 23 sixteen dollars number 23 for the little pixie on the snail i love his little face he's doing that little side eye he is cute. $16, number 23, for the little snail, pixie on a snail. And he is four and a quarter by about two and a half inches wide. Mm. Yeah, 
have a hard time getting these little stickers back off. I stuck on it. Oh, it came off all right. Next I have is going to be some pickles, salt and pepper shakers. They are marked made in occupied Japan. Both have their stoppers. They are cute pieces. They are about four inches long and about an inch and a quarter wide at the, at the widest point. Cute little pieces. $10, number 12. $10, number 12 for the cucumber, pickle, salt and pepper shakers. Next I have are going to be these, there's three of these little red birds. Now they do have some issues and it looked like someone tried to paint over them a little bit. If you see there, like the little issue there, right here on the wing, and then down here they did the same thing, try to paint over it and cover it up. Um, and like I said, there, there are three of them um, to the set. All of them have had that done to them. Um, their little tags or their little uh, hooks are gone on the back. But, you know, they make that little stick stuff that you can stick them, still stick them to your wall or in a display, in a plant, add a wire to the back and stick them in a plant or something would be nice. I priced them at $8 because of the issues. But there's no major chips out of them anywhere. Um, like around their wings or anything, and nothing's been broke off of them. Just the paint loss. They are $8, and they're number seven. $8, number seven, for the three redbirds. Oh, I lost train of thought there for me. I could not think of the word redbirds for some reason. Get all three of them. All three of them for $8, number seven. Okay. Not a place to put them. sticker off here. Next piece is going to be this planter. It does have its sticker on it right there. Royal Copley. It's pink on the inside, blue on the out. Sort of a, the blue is more of that um, turquoisey teal blue. Really pretty piece with the little decorations on it. I found no chips, no cracks, Anything like that. Really good condition. Um, the only thing I found on it was right here. It's just missing, like they didn't quite bring the glaze over that lip right there. But it's just a, a rub mark, I would call it. Yeah. Right there. And it is priced at $14. And it is number three. $14, number three. For the Royal Copley planter, 10 and a half inches long, and it is four and a half inches across here. And it is the, the till and the pink. See if I can get this sticker off this piece here. <laughs> I know I get them on there and I can't get them. If he thinks it looks like a pretty slipper tub. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be nice to have a tub that long where you can just sort of relax and lay back in? 
Next one is this little panda planter on the inside. I cleaned it up as best I could. It's not too bad on the inside. It's, you know, got a little bit I couldn't quite reach, but it is um, marked, let's see, it is marked Made in Occupied Japan again. Little little black dots there by his ear and eye is just where they, you know, did the paint. Sometimes Occupied Japan's not painted the best in the world. It is in really good shape, no chips or cracks or anything like that. He's $14 and he's number 20. $14, number 20, and it is about three and a half inches tall and right about three and a half inches wide. $14, number 20. Blue flamingo, what's that? I have blue flamingo for that, right? Is that what you mm -hmm. said? Mm-hmm. Go for that piece. We're going to go back to some jewelry a little bit. Next piece we're going to do is this little donkey pin. It's not really that little, it's pretty good size. You see, there, there are some issues right on the front of it, right down here by my finger, and it's just tarnished. It's a little tin piece. Um, really really lightweight there's the pin back on it it's got some little tarnished peak places on it I love the little ruffles that are all the way around his little head and his body there nice little bow on it it is I guess it's not real little little like some of the pieces at the tallest point it's almost three inches tall and it is about um, uh, two and a quarter at its widest points wide. It is gold tone. It is $10 and it's number 36. $10 number 36 for the little donkey brooch. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything here, guys. All right, next up. Next up, we're going to do this little beehive honey pot. If I have one of those little, uh, I think I do have one of those little yellow honey comb. I don't know what you call them. They're, they're for honey. They're like the little ball on the end. Uh, I'll put it in your package with it if I, if I find it. I, I know I have one. Um, it's got the little bee on top. Really, really cute. No chips, no cracks. There's the inside. It is marked Japan on the bottom. It's $11 and it's number 50. Eleven dollars, number fifty, for the little bee hive honey pot. I said no chips, no cracks. There's a piece of the sticker still on it. Really good condition. It's eleven dollars. Barely said it. Next, I have a piece of restaurant wear. It is a piece of, it says Shenango, China, Newcastle, Pennsylvania, USA, M-21. It is, it does say the, hold on, I got it upside down. Ah, that sticker stuck to my finger too. It does have Shenango on the bottom of it. And the color there is a, Oh, I, th I can't see very well this week. I'm having a really bad problem with seeing. Looks like either a burgundy or brown. 
with a black stripe with it. I think it's a creamer, if I remember right. It is um, five and seven eighths. And it is approximately three and a half inches tall. It's $9 and it's number 15. $9, number 15 for the piece of restaurant Shenango. Is there anything in this seat? Oh, yeah, these are good. <clears throat> number 15, blue flamingo. Next up is going to be Pixie on a Frog. Now I've sold one of these before, I just had two of them. Here's the other one. It's exactly like the other one I had. Uh, this one here, I'm trying to look and see. Uh, painting paint loss. It, there's no chips, no cracks. Um, got a little paint loss right there on his hat there and I thought the frog had some frog right there on his little little arm ah, I'm going the wrong way right there and that's the only two places that I actually see it is marked on the bottom made in occupied Japan like I said before um it's in, it's in really good shape it is eighteen dollars and it's number twenty two eighteen dollars number twenty two Really, really nice piece. Okay, now the next thing I have here, and I think it's, it's I mean, I've not seen this before. I mean, I've seen these before, but I've not seen them do this. And it is going to be, um, these two little chalkware dogs, okay? On the screen, they look really yellow and black, but really, it, I mean, they're not as yellow as they look on the screen, but they do have a little bit of paint loss, like right here um, on that one. But when I put a, a, a light on them, uh, I don't know if I can show it or not, if that will show, can you see it, Mom, on the, mm -hmm. on your screen? It glowing. Where that paint loss is, it glows. So I'm wondering if they painted these with like a uranium-based paint. I've, I've never seen it. And the black, it turns green. Uh, you see how that? I don't know. Can you see that, Mom, on your screen? It turns sort of green, and uh, mm -hmm. the tan that's the dog sort of tan. It turns like yellow. So it sort of glows. And I didn't know that. What I did is when I had everything set on the table and I was doing the the, um, the preview of the sale, I just sort of turned my light on to sort of, you know, because we've been, people's been finding things that we didn't realize glowed. So I just took the light and just shined it across the table and that happened. And I thought, well, that is really, really different. Um, so anywhere there's no paint and it looks like the paint maybe had soaked into the plaster, it glows. Um, and I think there's one little place on this one right here on the corner there. It, it has a, it has a glow to it. See that? And I don't know, I, I wasn't expecting it, but these are $12 for the pair and they're number 18. I, I still haven't got past it because it's still, it's different and they do have the little hooks on the back. And they are $12 for the pair, and they're number 18. You had those before, Dee, and sold them? Yeah, I wonder, you know, I'm going to start looking at the old things that are painted, like the chalkware and stuff. Put my light on them just to check them, because I've, I've never seen them glow like that 
when there's a little place where the paint's missing. Now the birds did not do that, but it was, um, I don't know, these are older than the birds, those birds are. Okay, we're going to do another brooch. And the next brooch is, it's a um, harp with Santa in the middle of it. Let me get that right here in a minute. I, I, I'll never understand how this camera thing is. It does have rhinestones around it. And still. I know I'm moving it so much. Um, it does. Um, it does have all of its rhinestones. And they're green and red. The rhinestones are. It has the regular uh, brooch closure back. Um, it is not marked with anything. It is approximately. What's wrong end? One and a half inches tall. I'm asking fourteen dollars, and it's number forty-one. Fourteen dollars, number forty-one. Yeah, the I, I uh I do a lot of searching for items, and then of course you know I've been collecting and doing vintage since two thousand and six, um. So I, I got a lot of things, and I appreciate appreciate that. You saying that? I'm getting the next brooch ready. I'm just trying to get the sticker off of it here. There it went. Now this one can be a brooch or a pendant, however you want to wear it. It has the capabilities of, of both. And this is the little B. Well, all the rhinestones are there. The little loop on top is where you would, you know, run a necklace through if you like. Or you can wear it as a pin on your lapel. <clears throat> it is um it is March 925. I'm going to try to see the other marking. Just a minute. Let me let me look at it. Nine two five. Yes, it is marked, but it does have a, a you know it is gold toned. And I have it upside down, so that would help me a lot if I turned it around. I could not make out the other writing even with my loop. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. But it does say 925. And I've put the price of it is $10. And it is number 39. And it is marked 925. Next is another brooch, and now this is a, I want to call it, um, it's not marked JJ, but I believe it is a JJ piece, um, but I can't, I can't be 100%, but it is the two people having champagne, the man and woman having champagne. It is, the table is silver toned and the people are gold toned. It is ten dollars, and it is number thirty-seven, and it's in really nice condition. Ten dollars, number thirty-seven. It is about uh, two and a half inches wide, and about one and a half inches tall. <clears throat> Gotta put the put the sticker back on it so I don't lose track of it. Next piece we're gonna do is another brooch. It is not marked. It is Santa. He is really cute. It looks like he's reading his list. He is enameled with the white and the red enameling. 
He has the regular hookup in the back. If I can get it there. Just like that. I'll take the little sticker off. Really cute piece. He is just right over or right at two inches tall. And he is at the widest point of his um, coat it is about one and a half inches wide. Nice size piece. Really cute. He's $14 and he's number 60. $14, number 60. He's probably, I would say, from the 70s or 80s in that area. Oops. I wish I could see better this week. My eyes are really messed up. Next pieces I have are going to be these little devil boys. That's what I call them anyway. I guess they're dressed up for Halloween. The little pitchforks do come out. They, I guess, supposed to. They have the little hole there in the hand that holds that one. This one here is in really good condition. Um, he has um, no major issues of, uh, well, no chips and no cracks. Nothing's been broke off. The only thing I find is right there on his little hair, the little brown, there's two little white spots, and they are so small. You can barely see them. I don't even know if the camera will pick that up at all. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, they're just, it's just so small. And he also has a brother. This one here. Now, this one here has issues, okay? Um, he will be, I'll be selling the first one. And this one, this one here, he's got his pitchfork, will be free. With the, with the other one, I'm not selling him because if you see right there, his little horn has been broke off and someone has glued it back. Well, I just got excited when I found them because they are very cute and I did not notice that. And where his little pitchfork, he holds it in his hand, there's a little chip off of that. Otherwise, he's in, he's in good shape. Um, they didn't do a horrible job. Well, you know, he's got the same, you know, he's got an issue with his hair there in front too, but, uh, they didn't do a horrible job per se, putting that on, but they didn't do the best job in the world either. I'm not happy with that at all, but so I made the set. You'll get them both for one price. They're $14 and they're number 34. They would have been a little bit more than that if um, that wouldn't have been an issue. So fourteen dollars, number thirty-four. Can't be we sold there's a whole bunch of them, right? Yeah, they, <laughs> they these would these are really neat and they're really hard to find. I actually found one online, and it was the little boy, the kneeling little boy, and he was not in good condition at all. And um, I think one of his arms had been broke off and he did not even have his pitchfork or anything. And he still went for like 20 bucks. Um, but I was sort of disgusted and all I'm doing here basically is getting my money back out of them. So yeah, $14, number 34. And we have Christy Garza is the first one there. Is that what you see? That that's her. That's Christy Garza. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I was that remember I know you all ago she changed her name. She's got a really neat video out, guys. If you haven't seen it, watch it. She is great behind the camera. I wish I was that good. I try, but she's got one heck of a personality. I would love to come to Texas, Christy, and meet you. You are wonderful. I think we could have, I'm, I'm a little different in person than I am behind this camera. I, I feel a little stiff behind it. And I don't know why I am because I'm not, but and I'll work through it. It's just an issue I have to work with. Um, you know, in school, when I was younger, uh, if I had to get up in front of people uh, for a report or anything, I'd just take an F because I'd tell the teacher, just give me an F. I don't care. I, I can't do it. 
I was that nervous um, getting up in front of class um, and, and doing anything. I would just take a nap, which affected my, my grades horribly. But Christy, you got up there and did it. And I was like, well, how long has she been doing this? Because she was, you're great. I'm just, God, I'm not there. I'm trying, I'm really trying. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to, I'd love to go antique shopping. We'd have a great time. We would have a great time. I know it. Yeah, the next piece I have, well, let me put the sticker back with this little guys here. The next piece I have is, um, let me get this sticker off of it, is the little mixer. The little sunbeam, I guess, that's what it reminds me of. It's not marked sunbeam, but I, it, 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 it looks like a sunbeam mixer. I've seen them with the boxes and stuff go for $50, $60. Without the boxes, go for $30 and $40. Well, today, guys, mine is only $18. Because I just don't do that. I don't care what somebody else is selling it for. It's what I gave for it. So it's $18. And it's number 16. And your little salt and pepper shakers are right here. The little, they come right off. And they put, go right back on. And it's in really good shape. No cracks, no chips, no nothing. Everything's really good. And the little bowl comes out. And it goes back down. It is $18 and it's number 16. Yeah, D. I, I watched D and yeah, she's she's awesome. I sit down and have a cup of coffee and, and get me a bagel and and watch D all day long. She's really good. Really, really good. <clears throat> okay. Next piece is going to be the little TV set. It's got all of its legs and all of its knobs. It's in good condition. You turn the little knob and the little salt peppers, they, they pop up and down. And, the, and those are in good condition as well. You turn the little knob and they set back down in there. Some of the things that these people came up with is absolutely amazing. Hi, Vivian. Nice to see you. This piece here is $22 and it's number 26. $22, number 26 for the little TV salt and peppers. No chips, no cracks, excellent condition. Slip hand and see what that is. <laughs> no, she said hi, you too. She's talking to somebody else. Oh. It's like, it's like Kendrick's, that's a, um, okay, then it's That's precious. Vivian, is she, uh, oh, Precious Lavender Buttons, which is Joanne Bader. Bader, Bader, I think. I can't remember, yeah, Joanne. All right, so we will put you down for that one. Precious. Okay. Slick so Kendricks was right after her, so Joanne got it. Oh. I will put her down for that one. Precious. Mm -hmm. I know, I love that name. Precious Lavender Buttons. I love that name. That is a neat name. <laughs> All right. Oh, he made fun of it. Oh. Next thing I have is going to be 
It's a little two-piece set here. Oh, let me get this off. It is a little lobster piece, and it is the um, side so says melted butter. And then the other piece, it says hot water. You put your hot water in the bottom piece, and you put your butter in the top, and you set it on the table and have melted butter when you have your lobster. What a great idea. <clears throat> I seen that, and I thought, oh, my gosh, that, that is so cute. It's $10, and it's number 14. $10, number 14. Behind Scott, at that. Mm -hmm. Darren Scott. Darren, I don't think you've ordered from me before, so make sure you send me your information. Uh, my email is up on the screen. Need your PayPal email, first name, address, oh, come here, my dog's wanting me, come here, oh, send me all of that, and um, I'll make sure you get it, guys, this is Casper, that's Casper, <laughs> I love you too, baby, um, this is my little dog, he's, he's right now, he's jumping up on me, so he wants to be held a minute, if you don't mind, but he's wonderful. Casper was a rescue dog I got. The people that had him, the, the man and woman, I guess they'd separated and the man had him and he didn't have time for him. So um, we drove and got him. He's a little wiener dog, little long haired wiener dog. He's wonderful, except he likes to run off because he likes to hunt. So, <laughs> but yeah, you gotta sit down, baby. Uh. And then I have another little dog, and his name is Boo. Pure accident on the names, Casper and Boo. Had Boo first, and then we rescued Casper. And when we got him, oh, I got his hair in his mouth. I got his hair in my mouth now. It was a complete accident on the names. Oh, Next, we have, wow, well, somebody's yawning over there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's got fluffy ears. He is so cute. Love him to death. Next up is this little donkey toothpick holder. I said, I always try to have a donkey of some sort in my sale. No chips, no cracks, marked on the bottom, made in Japan. He is really cute. $9 and it's number 54. Nine dollars, number fifty-four, for the donkey toothpick holder. Or I guess you know you could put a little air plant in there as well. Carrie, who got it? I don't see it. Popped Terry. Up yet. Terry got it. Okay, I figured Terry would be on that little one there. She likes her. She likes her donkey pieces. I don't. I don't blame her. I like them. They're cute. Very cute. My rescue is Biggie Small. <laughs> He's a good bird I love. Oh, I love animals. Every one of my animals, I have two dogs and I have two cats and all of them are rescues. Um, the cat, Sis, my oldest cat, she was found on the Walmart parking lot. And my other cat, Mr. Cat, he was found on the Lowell's parking lot <coughs> in my husband's home. <laughs> the dogs are barking. Boo was found along the side of the road um, with a big shock collar on her when she weighed about three pounds. And um, then Casper, of course, was uh, a rescue from someone that couldn't take care of him uh, any longer. So um, 
yeah, we got him. We got them all. Um, all right. Next piece up is going to be. Oh, there's the other one. It's a two-piece set. They go together. So you'll get both pieces for one money. They are these wonderful, wonderful pieces here. Absolutely love these pieces. I cannot find him anywhere online. I find her. She sells for about $22 all by herself. Um, there again, I don't go by those prices. So she's not 22. She's not $22. They are together. And the pair, they are marked Occupied Japan. They are Ori Oriental head bases. They're $30 and they're number 31. You're getting both pieces. These are, and they are so nicely made. The paint on them is really nice on her headpiece and everything. They are beautiful. I mean, there again, I've had them a while. Didn't really want to get rid of them, but Tippy wings. I can't perfect. keep them. Uh, Christy Garza, she got those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me find my, my paper on it. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, D, they're, they're wonderful. Let's see. Let's see. I have two rescues also. Yeah, I think rescue, rescue dogs are, are the best. You know, um, my husband spoils our animals something awful. Okay, y'all ready for this? This man bakes chicken breasts and chops them up with a pair of scissors every day right around 11 o'clock. And then he, he keeps them in a container frozen and then he gets them out and he thaws them during the day for the next day. And he chops up a chicken breast for them, bakes it in the oven, warms it up, and gives it to them every day. And when we go shopping, we buy like four or five of the big packages of like, I don't know, eight or ten chicken breasts in it. And he makes sure they get, they get that every day because he doesn't like feeding them regular dog food. Now, we keep regular dog food out so they can have a snack during the day. But uh, otherwise... Um, yeah, never in my whole life have I ever did that until I met him. And now I wouldn't let him go a day without it, but yeah, he, he, he loves them, loves them to death. Oh, it is already five o'clock. Has anybody heard is some, uh, Sam and Sarah starting right at five today, thrift you. Um, if, if so, I need to put a brush on it. I know they always tell me to take my time and everything to be all right, but I never want to, you know, butt in. I'm going to do another brooch real quick. Got the little Christmas bells. These are $10. Thanks, Christy. I appreciate that. $10 and it is number 42. $10, number 42 for the Christmas bell enameled. Brooches. Brooch. They said they would start at 8.30. Oh, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Like I said, you know, I would have had to end it pretty quick here because I try to, you know, I don't want to butt into their time. Sandra Mayo got that. Sandra Mayo, I have you for the um, bell brooch. Um, And then my last brooch I have that I have, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't showed yet, is this crab. Now it is um, gold toned. I believe yes, gold. To <clears throat> Sorry guys, gold tone, and it actually has a shell there for like its body. It's really cute. It does have the regular clasp on the back. Really, really cute piece. It is ten dollars. 
and it's number 40. $10, number 40 for the crab. Thanks, Christy. Appreciate it. Blue Flamingo, you got number 40. I'm trying to see if I forgot anything. Is there anything? Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have forgot everything. Stuff sitting right here in front of me. I have next up is going to be a fairy lamp. It is one of the amber fairy lamps. I'm trying to get it all set up here for you so you don't see it. I got a little thing of uh, um, lights in it, clear, clear, a thing of clear lights and a thing of colored lights in it. No chips or cracks. Really good condition. Nice piece. It is approximately six and three quarters inches tall. And there's the little fairy lit or the fairy lights on the bottom. Really pretty. Got the little diamond cut. Um, design the bottom $16 and it's number 28 $16 number 28 blue flamingo that's not it <laughs> blue flamingo got number 28 mm -hmm. Next, I have this tin. It is black with yellow flowers and green leaves. Nice round one. I'm trying to pull the lid off. You know, those lids stay on there pretty tight. The lid, the bottom, it says, it's, um, it says on the bottom, turn it around here. Um, Designed by, and I think that's a D A H E R, Long Island, New York. Made in England. Uh, the tin is going to be ten dollars, and it's number thirty. Now, before you bid, wait, because I, I forgot to tell you something about it. It does, if you look, it does have a little indent right here on the lid. But I mean, from the top, I can't even tell it from the top there. You know, see that it's sort of indents right there. Nothing major. It's still, the lid goes on it and it shuts. Um, it shuts just fine. $10. Number 30. For the really pretty black and yellow 10. Oh, did you miss me? Technical difficulties, guys. Find me. No. Mom has an issue with hitting buttons sometimes. Is that the elephant right there? Mm -hmm. Nope, that ain't it, is it? <laughs> oh. There I am. Okay. Okay, got her set back up. She's ready to go again. Uh, okay, let me put that back there. <clears throat> All right, next I have this um, thermos. It says holiday on it. It has this splattered speckled look in the tan and the green. So it's a uh, green and cream. It's a really, I'm going to cover my little tag up right there. It's a nice, nice piece. Now, it does have issues. It's not what I would call uh, usable. It, it does have its glass inside, and it's not cracked or anything like or, uh, the, the glass is not broke. But um, where it screws in here, there is a crack right here around this part, which has caused 
I guess, liquid to get inside of it and rust the inside, which has put a little pinhole right here. Now, it is a, or still a very nice piece for decorating. The, the lid is in good shape, no cracks or issues with that. It is, um, try to see, uh, see if you if you do um, thermoses, it is number 2471 in the thermos family numbers. It is nice, it is still, a, it's still a nice, nice piece. Like I said, I just don't, I, it's just not what I would call usable for liquids since it has that um, crack there in the top of it. It is $18 and it's number 48. $18 number 48 for this thermos. And it is 13 and three quarters inches tall. Precious lavender buttons, I have you for that one. We're gonna do one more thermos while we're in thermoses. Now this next piece is in excellent condition when it comes to being used. It can be used it is in good shape, no cracks or anything in the top piece. And really, guys, I, I honestly don't think they ever, ever used it. It was nice and clean all the way through. Um, I, I, like I said, I don't know if they ever used it. It does just say it says thermos on the top of the lid. This one does have the date on it, 1966, King Sealy Thermos Company. Its bottle number is 2271. Really, really good shape. Love the little diamond stars that are looking on it. You know, it's the nice green bottom. Looks like, like I said, looks like it's bit brand new on the bottom. Um, but we know it's not brand new. It's it's older piece. It is $22. And it is number 49, <clears throat> $22, number 49. Yes, it's perfect. Blue Flamingo. Yeah, I got Blue Flamingo for that one. Guys, I, I just stopped where my sister has the, her shop. Um, I also have a little booth in there and I just stopped and um, when I was there yesterday and I packed up some of the thermoses I have there and I brought home, what do you think about a dozen? So I'm going to have several thermoses coming in the next sales and they're in all different colors, the greens, the different colors of blues and reds and the red and black and the orange, the yellow, everything. So I'll have all, all of those coming in, in, in the next sales. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Was there anything else? Oh, trying to look real quick, guys. Just trying to go over everything and make sure I did not miss anything. Yes, I did. Here's something. Next up I have is going to... Did you hit that button again? You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, cool. Cool. Next I have is this lady. She is a vase. Um, all of her flowers, I checked them out and they are all in excellent condition. I didn't find anything that was chipped or cracked or anything like that. She is not marked on the bottom. Didn't see any markings, but she is, she's wonderful. Her, uh, she's porcelain and her paint is really good. No chips, no cracks. Um, I'm, I'm going to look over the flowers one more time and make sure there's nothing wrong with them. I do need to take a little toothbrush and clean down in them because I didn't get that done. Um, yeah, she's in really good shape. The only thing I found was on this flower right here, on this 
there's a little crack on the flower, but that's manufactured. It has been glazed and painted over. She is um, approximately at her tallest point, about five and a half to five and a quarter inches tall. Um, she is in really, really good shape. She's $16 and she's number 56. Yeah, Christy, she is really pretty. She's really pretty. She's got the, um, oh, what do you call it? The pastel colors on her and everything. Really, really pretty. I think the Thrill um, of the Thrift. Is thrill of the Thrift D. You got to that one, girl. Set that over there for me, Mom. Somewhere. Oh, and I got this piece here. Okay. Let me see if I can turn that there. Okay. Did I give you? I put the sticker back on that note, didn't I? Yes. Okay, and I and I can't find the sticker on this one, so uh, let's look it. It up. should be. You say it out loud. Okay. Mom's whispering numbers to me. <laughs> she doesn't realize when she talks she, that y'all can hear over here. <laughs> All right, next piece up is going to be this piece here. And it is a, I couldn't figure out whether they called it a quail or a grouse. When I looked it up, I finally found it under grouse. But to me, isn't that like a quail? I don't, I don't know. It's numbered on the bottom. Um, the piece that I looked up and seen, they did say it was, um, what did they say it was? Can't remember now. Oh, shoot. But the foil sticker's missing off the bottom. Now I can't remember if they said it was Lefton or Napco or, or, or it's, I, I can't remember now. It, but it is a really nice piece. The only thing I found on it is right here on the very back underneath, right here, there's a little chip on the tail. But from the front, yeah, you can't uh, tell it at all. I, I love it. It is really, really a cute piece. It is $14, and it is number 61. $14, number 61. For, I'm trying to look over top of it like this. For the bird, quail, grouse, porcelain bird. Bye, Judy. What did I say it was? $14, number 61. I don't know why I did with the sticker off of it. I mean, it's probably laying on my cart somewhere here. Okay. Next thing we have, and I think this may be, oh, I got two pieces left, guys, and then we'll go back through if there's anything anyone's interested in. I believe I got two pieces left, I think. Yeah, I'm seeing two, I think. All right, I have these two little bud bases. They are the Native American man and woman. Now, the man has an issue. It, um, it looks like this crack has started, went right across the bottom. And uh, it goes across the bottom and right up right here on the side a little bit. Um, and that's the only thing. The lady, one, no issues at all. They are marked on the bottom, occupied Japan. Paint is as good as can be expected for, you know, Occupy Japan. Um, you're getting both pieces for $16 and they're number 59. And they are approximately three and a half inches tall. They are nice little pieces. And I think he online, I wanna say they, somebody had 18 or $20 bid on him and the bidding wasn't done yet. And that was just him. She wasn't even included in that. So, but these are the pair. So 
$16, number 59. What man doesn't have an issue? Hello, I know what you're talking about. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> the man has an issue. <laughs> oh, really cute pieces. Sixteen dollars, number fifty-nine. All right. Next up is this little wishing well planter it's got the little pixie on it blue flamingo one of those I think. 59 went to blue flamingo yes got blue flamingo on the little planters like i said the man one he has issues <laughs> but the woman one is in excellent shape next piece up is going to be the little pixie wishing well planter do have an issue, of course, with the coal painting on the on the red, but that's a lot more red I've seen on than some of them. Now, once we got it home and it was on packing things, we noticed that there was a hairline. If I can find it, because that's how right here on the handle. So it is priced uh, accordingly to that because this is a piece that I know goes for 20 some dollars easily. But we're going to do it today. It is marked. It does have made in. Push my glasses up. Sometimes I see better without them. Uh, made in Japan and it has the Laurel Reef um, design mark on it. $12. Guys, that's a really good deal. Even with the hairline, that's a really good deal on this piece. It's $12 and it's number 58. $12, number 58 on the Wishing Well Planter. Let's see how tall it was. Right, the tallest point is five inches tall. And it is about three and three quarters inches wide. Like I said, it does have the hairline, but for $12, that is really a good price on that piece. All right. I think that was all the pieces I had listed in, in my preview sale for this week. Now, as always, I always go back through at the end of the sale and offer you pieces back. If there's anything you can think of that you've seen that you thought maybe was a little high, I'd be more than happy uh, to come down on pieces. Uh, if you just write there on the screen what you were interested in, I can try to show it first thing, whoever types something in. And... Um, I will show it again. As far as that, I will just start showing a few pieces here and there and dropping the prices on them for you. We will start with the two piece little um, Amberina. Um, no, you just look at it for me. Amberina piece here, um, Rooster. Like I said, I don't see any markings on it. I had it for $30. You missed the first half hour. Okay. The, did, I don't know, if, uh, Nancy, have you seen these pieces, but I'm going back through the ones that didn't sell and uh, I'm going to mark them down we had a cat. and we'll, we'll go. I missed the, yes, there was cats and I have one. I will show you. Mm -hmm. I sold one cat and I have another one. But this one here, we're going to do it first. Like I said, it is the Amberina. Um, I can't I can't guarantee it's Westmoreland. If I could, it would be priced a lot more. Um, but I had it for $30. I'll do $27 on this piece. And it's number two if anyone's interested. Or if anyone has an offer on it. If 
that'd be fine too. I just like to sell things, you know. <laughs> I like to find them and then give y'all the best price possible. So if if you're interested in this piece, I'll do 27. Blue Flamingo is if you think that's too high, get shoot me a shoot me a price and we'll see what we can do. Pam Pam is interested in it. Number tw uh, um, for 25. For tw Pam, are you interested in the rooster for 25? So Pam's offered me 25 for the rooster, I think, or is she asking about number 25? Pam's offered yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me find it here. Okay, we have Pam for the rooster then. Pam, I don't think you've ordered anything from me. My um, email's on the um, screen. Sorry, my mind went blank for a minute. And uh, just email me all your information and I'll get you a uh, invoice sent out. Oh, here's the cat. Um, yeah. This is the cat I had uh, left. Uh, Nancy, you were asking about it. I'm going to give Nancy first dibs on this piece here. Nancy, I had this piece for $12. I'll do uh, 10 all you have to do is type in uh, 19 if you want it, Nancy. Nancy gets first grabs at this one. If you're interested. If not, I'm going to let anybody have it for $10. At uh, All they have to do is type in 19. But like I said, I'm giving Nancy, since she did ask for cats, I'll give her first dibs on this one. Okay, so Nancy does not want it. It is $10, and it is number 19 if anyone would like to have this, um, this cat. For $10, number 19. It's the white cat. I remember to change the prices on things so I don't bill somebody wrong. No takers on the cat. Uh, the deer linen did not sell. I had twelve dollars on it. Now they're like um, a Brenda. <clears throat> excuse me, Brenda. There was an issue, you know, with it. Which all with all old linens, there's usually something. The the light colored in the um, edging there. The crocheted. It's it's faded or either someone got bleach on it or something and turned it a lighter pink than the other and then right in the front there if you see it right in here um, it looks like it has a little storage damage but I think that will come out with a little oxy clean now with that all being said I had $12 on it I will do 10 if you would like to have this piece it is 37 inches long Brenda and it is 12 inches wide Brenda, if you want it for ten dollars, just say yes. Forty-six. Okay, Brenda, tuck number forty-six. Our, uh, yeah, um, um, uh. I heart all things. It'll be on your paper. It just says yes by I heart all things. See where she said yes? I asked her if she wanted it for $10 and she said yes. What was the number 46. Okay. Yeah, that is super cute. Now, I did not sell these.
Yeah, the kitty head cookie jar, Lynn. Um, it sold. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Um, uh, the cookie jar did sell. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, uh, Christy Gossa got it, I believe. Now, I have these here still available. They are the um, salt and pepper. They are the um, little clown teapots. They are souvenir pieces from Nashville, Tennessee. No chips, no cracks. One has a cork, one doesn't. They were $15. I will do 12. If anyone's interested in those, I will do 12. And they are, like I said, I can't pronounce it, T-H-A-M-A-S. Thymes teapots, salt and pepper shakers, made in Japan. Yes on the clowns for precious lavender buttons, okay. And I, I'm, I changed those to $12. They're number 11, Mom. 11? Mm-hmm. They're, they're number 11, and I changed the price to $12, and Precious uh, Lavender Buttons got them. There he is. Maybe we'll set that. What about the pickle, cucumber salt and pepper shaker? I have that on here. I'm just going to, I got to get you that. Okay, we have this set of salt and pepper shakers. They're the pickle or cucumbers, whatever you want to call them. I had them. There's no chips, no cracks. Occupied Japan. They are number 12, and I had them for 10, but I will do eight. Eight dollars on the pickle salt and pepper shakers. If anyone wants them for the eight dollars, uh, type in 12, number 12. Did anybody do this one? I don't know. No. Okay. We have the elephant creamer. I can't read the writing on the bottom, but I know Shawnee makes a makes one of these. We had it for um, twelve dollars. We will do ten. If anyone's interested in that, type in number fifty-two. Number fifty-two. $10 for the Elephant Creamer. Terry, I have you for the Elephant Creamer. He's super cute. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he is. He's super cute. I have this here. I don't believe this was taken. It would be um, Pixie on a Frog. Yeah, Pixie on a Frog. So let me get the paper out here. I had it for $18. Um, I will do. I'll do 15 on him and he is number 22. Casper's barking at his daddy. Let's be coming up towards. $15 number 22 for the pixie on a frog. If anyone's interested in that it is marked Made in occupied Japan on the bottom. Oh, I must have found the camera side. <clears throat> the 
Um, let me find it. Would you do 12 on the on what? Oh my, what is she asking 12 on? The pickled cucumbers is number 12. No, she's asking me if I'll do $12 on something. Christy on what? On the frog. Oh, okay. Um, let me look and see what I what I have it wrote down is what I gave for it. And let me see how that compares. I had it at 15. And she wants to do 12. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Yeah, Christy, for you, I'll do that. So you because you buy a lot of stuff from me. Christy on the frog is twelve dollars yeah, to Christy. Okay. Because Christy Christy buys a lot of things from me. Now I have this lady here. She was eighteen dollars. There's no chips, no cracks. She is what is called um oh, fancy china out of occupied Japan. And it is the name of it is S. A J I it has the crown on top of the logo. I can get a picture of it there. She was $18. I'll do 15 on her if anyone's interested in her. She's number 10. $15, number 10 on the uh, the lady here. The, what they call, what I say, fancy china. And she is really pretty. She is about um, 12 and a quarter inches tall. I, I guess they call her a geisha, a geisha girl. And guys, anytime I sell things on, you know, on a show, it has to be on a show or I'm going to start doing those hauls like I told you. I've got, I think I'm getting prepared for that. Um, and, and you can always email me after the show. If you've seen something that didn't sell and you've thought about it and you decide you want it, you can, you can email me and we'll, we'll, we'll do something. Where's that at? Oh, I'm going by the chat right now. Oh. Okay. Um, next, I have this Royal Copley. It's the pink and the teal colors. It does have the sticker on it there. I had 14 on it. I can do 11 if anyone is interested in it. It is number three. Royal Copley planner, pink inside, teal on the outside, $11.00. Number three, if anyone's interested in that piece. Oh, and the sticker to stick back on there, right? I have the black, oh, here, Mom, there's the number on it. Okay. See. I have the black and um, yellow tin. I had $10 on it. I would do eight if anyone is interested in this piece. $8 instead of 10 for the 10. <laughs> inside of it. It is made in England. Uh, I just bought it. <laughs> Exhibition well. We sold that, didn't we? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. It's your piece, so I um I all I want to go down what you want to. Oh. Just down like you do the rest. Okay. The Pixie Wishing Well. We did $10 on it. 
I mean, I'm sorry, we did, we had $12 on it. Um, but we'll do 10. Like I said, remember it does have the hairline crack right up here in the top. We'll do $10 and it's number 58. It's one of mama's pieces. Oh, well, I'm not supposed to tell y'all what's hers and what's mine. I forgot. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but it's one of mom's pieces. Like I said, we were both sort of upset with it when we got home and seen that it had that. But we'll do $10. It's number 58. The little... Um, mixer here salt and pepper shakers i had 18 i'll do 15 if anyone's interested in them and just type in number 16. thanks for stopping in lucid nice to see you precious lavender buttons takes this for 16. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, 15. Sorry about that. We did $15 on that. It's number 16. Precious lavender buttons. Okay. Let me change the price here on it. Okay. Um, oh, nice big eyed dog under there. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Okay, we got a planter here that didn't sell. It's the big eyed dog. He's really cute. He is marked hand painted, uh, made in Japan. No chips, no cracks. A little crazy on him, of course. We had him at $12. We'll do 10 on him, and he's number 51. Number 51 on the little planter. $10 instead of the 12. Quail bird, where's that? Didn't that didn't. Oh, the little, this little bird here yeah. we had, um, we had it for $14. We'll do, um, we'll do uh, 11 on it. I'm trying to think what we gave for it. You can do 11 if you're interested. Just type in number 61. Be eleven dollars. For the little quail grouse bird. Remember it had one little chip right under the wing. You can't even really feel it or see it from the top. It's a pretty good size little bird. This here's the size of my head, so it's Pretty good size. Terry wants to know if you'll take 10 for Fort Long? Mm -hmm. Yes, Terry, we'll do 10. And I'll put you down for that one. We got the little, two little chalkware dog heads. I remember under, under a black light, I, they do glow for some reason a little bit. You're welcome, Terry. You buy several things from me as well, so I don't mind at all. I had these for $12. Um, they do have, you know, some little paint chip down here at the bottom. That's where they glowed. It was really strange. But I'll do 10 for the pair. And it's number 18. If you're interested in those for 10, or shoot me a price. I don't, you know, <laughs> we are, we're making some deals. I just need to, I'm pulling new stuff in. I need to pull old things, older, you know, pieces out. So I'm trying to get rid of stuff. $10 for the pair, number 18, if you're interested in those. 
anybody that, you know, you go back and, and you look at the video later, I do go ahead and change the prices. I try to remember to anyway, keep my fingers crossed on the, on the, um, on the pieces. And I will give anyone that emails me later that same price. Little watermelons. Oh, the little watermelons. I got the little watermelon salt and pepper shakers. Had them at 10. I'll do eight. And they are number 17. Had them at $10 for the little watermelon salt and peppers. Uh, I had them at 10. I will do eight. And they are number 17. If you're interested, they are marked Occupied Japan. I don't think I sold this here either, Mom. I want to see about it. Now, I had these four pictures. Um, they are mid-century modern. 10 made of 10 pictures with the cardboard back, but they are 10 fronted. They all have the little loop to hang them with. There is a set. They are all, I'd call them more like botanical photos of, of different flowers. We got our day lilies here and roses. And then the other two, I guess I'm not sure what all the flowers names are, but I knew those two anyway. I had them at $24 for all four. We'll do 20 if anyone's interested in those. $20 for those four um, photos, or um, I'm sorry, 10. And they are 14 and a half or so inches tall. And they are six and a quarter inches wide. If anybody's interested in these four, they are all four, $20 now, and they're number one. Number one. Little guy and gal here. Ooh. Sorry, <laughs> little guy and gal here. I had them for $16. I will do 14 on those. And they are number 33 if anyone's interested in those. Number 33. Yeah, they were 16. Now they're 14. On these guys here, if you're interested in those. Oh, small dog. Yeah, make sure I mark that. <laughs> I came down to it. Okay. Yes, Terry, I had this small dog here. Um, he is a he's got that luster wear. Um, if you can see that in the photo there, he was $10. I'll do eight on him and he's number 24, number 24, $8. If you would like him, Terry. Oh, you want the height? Yeah. I, I measured them a while ago. I can't remember now. Let me, let me measure real quick. Now these are just guesstimates. He is marked made in Japan. I try to measure them as best I can and get he is uh, just a little over four inches tall, and he is right about four and a quarter inches wide. And Terry has first dibs on this one, CLC. Uh, she asked about it, so I'm going to give it to her first. She just asked me the height on it, so I want to make sure... If you want this, Terry, just mark yes, and it, it's number 24. If not, I'm going to let um, Terry go. Connie have it. Okay, Terry. Okay, I got Terry with that one, number 24, at, at $8.
too well too because I could hurt. Yeah, uh, you did, but see what it is is that this is the end of the cell, and I'm going back over things. Uh, yeah, this is the end of the cell uh, CLC, uh, and I'm I'm uh, just going back over things. And she asked about this. Uh, if you see, if you're able to scroll up and see where she asked about the small dog figurine I had, and then she wanted to know the height on it. So I already had her interest in on it, so I had to give her the first first dibs on it. Yeah, well, Terry has been here, you know, uh, but I, you know, like I said, I'm going through right now and I'm just marking stuff down and she, she was the first one with interest on it. Now, if you're interested in something that, you know, then, then I could, uh, right. You did bid quick, but she had already asked about the piece and we were already in discussions on, on the selling of it. Um, so I have to give it to her first. Okay, next is going to be the lion. I have this little lion piece here. He is a ashtray, <clears throat> little vase, little planter. Bye, Angela. I had him at $10. We will do $8 on him, and he is number 53. Well, he's an ashtray. Uh, hey, Connie, you know, uh, that's totally up to you. Whether you're here or not, I'm still going to have my sales. That's totally up to you. You do what you want to do. Lion piece here. Ashtray. $8. Number 53. If anyone's interested in that, let me change the price on him here so I'll make sure. What other piece did you ask about, Mom? I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to see. The pow did I sell this piece? Would you look and see that, that number there? I cannot remember. No. All right, got the powder box, the pink powder box. Um, if you remember, right when I told you in the beginning, it had a little crack right around the top uh, where it screws in. Doesn't affect the lid coming on and off. It, it's pretty clean. It does have the little powder puff here. Very little of the little um, um, powder left in it. It does have the white shoulder scent and smell of the powder still in it. I had it for $8. I'll do six. And it's number five. Number five. We're going to mark it down to $6 if anyone's interested in it. Okay, I got Christy for that. Oh, let me let me do this real quick here. I forgot about these. What is it? What did you mark? Six. Okay. Yeah, I Christy got that for six. Okay. Now I have these little guys here. They're the little um oh chopstick rests, I can think. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate that. You know, there's always one in every group. Um, um I appreciate it, but you know, um I I have to go by the way I was doing that and um, I was I offered to someone first and that's the way I'm going to do it uh, if I would have went and gave it to her then it would upset my other person and I'm not going to upset that person at all um, because it's not fair and I will run a fair show but I have this here I had them I have seven of them I had them at six dollars each 
Um, and seven times six is what? I can't even count. 42. That makes them 42. If you take all of them, I will drop that down. And you can take one or however how many. This is going to be each. Um, I'm going to drop them down to $4 each. If you're interested in them, you can take one up to seven. However you want to do it. You're welcome, Terry. You're very welcome. Four dollars each on the uh, chopstick rest now instead of six. And I have seven of those. I'm trying to see what else. The, did I do that one already? Okay. The little pixie on the snail. I had this piece at the $16. Um, it is number 23, and I will mark it down to 14 if anyone's interested in that piece. Number 23. Just type in number 23 for the pixie on. Yeah, and I marked that down to $14 for you, Blue Flamingo. He said, you know, if guys, if you can remember anything else that I had on here that I didn't get bids, you know, I'll take offers on things. I don't mind. I don't do that offer up thing like some people do, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, it, you know, if you don't know the price of something and you, you don't know what to price it at, yeah, I'll, by all means, I would do that too. Mm -hmm. uh, and I may do that later um, in, in time to come. But I don't know. I don't mind coming down on my things. Or if you want to ask about something that I had on the sale and make me an offer during the sale, you know, when the sale's over, I don't have an issue with that. Got the little duck toothpick holder. Had $6 on him. I'll do four if anyone's interested in him. He is number 21. $4 on the little toothpick holder. If anyone's interested in the little duck. You know, what's one more little thing to go in your box? It'll fit, I'm sure. <laughs> um, do I? Oh, nothing. I was talking to myself. The monkey planner. Did you do oh. that? What did you do with that? Oh, he said over here. Did he not sell? Uh, I got a thumbs down, guys. That's okay. I'm good with it. YouTube looks at it all the same, whether it's up or down. Okay, next up, I have, did I already sell this in month? No, I have the monkey planner. Remember, he had some issues around the black edges of his coat, which a black Sharpie permanent marker <laughs> would take care of that. Um, I had him for $15. I will do, oh, goodness. Uh, I don't remember what I gave for him. I'll do... Um, 12 on him if anyone's interested in in the monkey planner i'll do 12 dollars and he is number 29 just type in number 29 yeah terry i got some i got a bunch of thumbs up so i'm okay with it monkey planners 12 dollars number 29 Just sort of going down through my list here. Um, see if I have anything left. Did you tell a bluebird salt and pepper chicken? Mm hmm. It did it sell? No. Or number, or wait, or just matching. Mm -hmm. Two five. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Um, what was it again? Let me see what I got. Oh, that one. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't just mark those down. Those are a really nice set too. Really nice set. This, um, I forgot about these. Um, the Bluebird Salt and Pepper Shakers. Very nice pieces. Uh, they are marked Japan on the bottom. I had $12 on them. I'll do 10. I'll do, yeah, I'll do 10 on them. They're really nice, really nice pieces. 
They're really lightweight. They're, I mean, they're just, they're nice. Now, remember, when I give you a price, if you want to make an offer, you can still do that as well. That's number 35, $10 for the Bluebirds, if anyone's interested in those. All right, I have this. I don't think anybody bid on this. Let's go back to some of the jewelry. I have the donkey brooch right here. I had, what did I have on the donkey brooch? I had $10. I'll do eight on the donkey brooch. If anyone's interested in that, or it does have a little tarnish marks there on it because it is 10, um, 10, uh, real light made of, made of 10. Uh, but we'll do, um, what did I say? Eight, $8 on the donkey brooch. My memory's not very long, people. I'm do you sorry. have any Mexican pottery? Someone has a question. Oh, uh, not today. I don't think you do. Missed. Missed first. Oh, so Mexican pottery. I don't. I do have a boot, a planter like boot, but, but I don't have it he here. I don't think. Let me look. Nope. I do not. No, Jan, I don't. I don't have, I don't have that. Did I sell this or did I show this again? I can't remember. I can't remember if I showed this again. Did I sell it? Um, number six would be the number. And I, no, I did not. I had $18 on it. If you want this, type in uh, a number six at $18. I will do 15 on it. Okay. In excellent shape. All the gold is nice and shiny. It is just perfect condition. I will take it down from 18 to $15, number six. And then remember guys, I had these um, number six. Okay, uh, Blue Flamingo got that. Oh, okay. Did I call it a flamingo? <laughs> it's no, a you, swan. You called her Blue Flamingo. Uh, Blue Flamingo, you need a big box. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably ship it in two boxes. <laughs> And um, I'll give you a deal on the shipping because uh, you've bought a lot of stuff. I'll try to see what I can, what I can do on shipping for you when it comes to comes to everything. Like I said I'll do what I can. I'll always do what I can. I have these red birds. Remember they did have some issues where someone where the paint has chipped off, and it looks like right here by my finger. If you look, they tried to paint on, and it's on each one of them. And there's three of them. And um, like I'm only holding up two, and I'm saying there's three. But yeah, there is three of them. Uh, I had them, um, they're number seven. I had $8 on them. I'll do five if you'd like to have them. $5 on number seven for the three, three red birds. Just type in number seven and you can have all three of them for $5. Yeah, Terry, they, it is Flamingo. I mean, not Flamingo. Ah. Oh, you're going to tell everybody it's a Flamingo? Okay. Then I'm going to tell everybody it's a Flamingo too. <laughs> but it's a swan. <laughs> $5 for all three red birds. The chalkware. If anyone's interested in them. I had them at eight. I'll mark them to five. Number seven. <laughs> The Tupperware lady. Yeah. Oh yeah, forgot about her. And then I have the Tupperware lady still. She's from 1980. She is marked on the bottom, special edition, made exclusively for Tupperware, series one, 1980 piece. I had twelve dollars on her. I will take um, nine. If anyone's interested in her, she will be nine dollars now. And she's number eight. Sorry. 
number eight, nine dollars. If anyone's interested in her, no chips, no cracks, nothing's wrong with her at all. Oh, let's see if I missed anything. Oh, this little pin here with a couple having wine. I had ten dollars on it. It is not marked on the back, but I believe it to be a JJ piece. Uh, I had it at ten dollars. I will do eight. If anyone's interested in the in in the couple having wine uh, brooch. All right, we have the Santa Claus brooch. He was fourteen dollars. We will do twelve dollars on him. If anyone's interested, just type in number sixty. Twelve dollars, number sixty on the Santa brooch. I have you, Sandra Mayo, on that brooch for 12. For 12, yes. Um, I'm going to go back through the brooches real quick here, I think, um, and then we'll be about done. Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to end here in just a minute. Uh, but if anybody remembers anything they've seen, still interested, let me know. Have the trolley car. It is enamel, gold tone. It has all of its uh, rhinestones. His little, his little wheels are rhinestones. And then there's another little rhinestone right here up front, but it has all of its rhinestones in good condition, uh, or in excellent condition. It was $10, it is now $8. And it <clears throat> it is number 38. If you're interested in that one. Number 38, $8. The other Christmas brooch I have is the harp with Santa in the middle there. Has all of its rhinestones in excellent condition as well. Um, it is number 41. I had it for $14. I will do 12 on it as well. And if you type in number 41. Oh, number 41, $12 on the Christmas brooch. Number 41, Precious Lavender, is that it? Uh, Precious Lavender, yep. Okay, guys, uh, anything you've seen that I have marked down that you would like to purchase at a little less price, I have no problem with that. So just let me know. Have the little crab brooch here. I had $10 on it. It was number 40. We'll do $8 on the little crab brooch if you're interested in that one. Also the B bro bro brooch, I have it, and it was number 39. So if you'd like number 39 or number 40, just type those in. 39 is the B, and number 40 is the crab, crab and they're $8 a piece. What pins, Terry? I have left, I believe, on the pins. Nobody bid on those two. So I'm going to have um, the crab, the bee, the trolley, the donkey, the wine couple. So just let me know which ones, and I will, I will do... Um, I'll do a good price on them for you. The couple having wine. 
Yeah, but it's a couple have them on there. What does that one have? Two oh, thirty-seven. Was that the only one, Terry? Just the couple having wine? The more you buy, the cheaper it gets. That's what the ladies always tell me when I go into their stores. <laughs> the lady yesterday when I bought 21 sets of salt and pepper shakers, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. <laughs> um, I will do, Terry, if you want that one, I'll do six bucks on it. I'll do six dollars if you want the if you want the 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 wine drink. I'll do six on those if you want that, uh, Terry. Um, Kitty Winks for the bee and the crab. For the bee and the crab. Okay, let's do it, she says. All right, so I'm going to put Terry on the couple drinking wine. And now... Um, you marked it to six? I marked them to six. Mm -hmm. I marked it to six, yes. Okay. Couple having wine. Yep. Couple having wine broach. I didn't know what else to call it, so I would know what it was. Uh, let's see. Uh, Christy for the bee and the crab. Um, I started them out. They were $10 a piece, so that had been $20. Um, and But then I marked them to eight. Um, that made them 16. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I will do... Six dollars a piece on them. I'll do twelve dollars for the couple for the both. If you want them both, they'll be twelve dollars. Will that work for you, Christy? Twelve dollars for both of them. Okay, good job. Yes, that's for the bee and the crab. The bee and the crab. Yeah, put Terry's or. or I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do the crab. Crab's already sold. I'm sorry. I, I have the crab. Blue Flamingo got the crab. Yeah. I'm sorry, Terry. I did not see that. But I'll still do $6 on the bee if you want it. And there's the donkey brooch. Okay. I'm sorry. I did not see the crab had already sold. So I can do $6 on the bee. Do you still want the do you still want the bee? Who got the trunk? Okay, I'll put you on the uh the bee. I, I haven't sold that one yet. Okay, and who got that one? Christy Gaza got the okay. um the bee. Okay. Well, what about the donkey and the I haven't sold those yet. Okay. Okay, the on. only ones I have left, guys, on the brooches. It's going to be, let me go back over and make sure. The This one's already gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. Okay, I have, looks like two, I think. Is that right, Ma? Yeah, all I see is the trolley and the donkey. Okay, that's all I have laying here in front of me. I have these two left. It's the donkey and the trolley. The donkey is number 36. And the trolley is number 38. So the first ones to type those in, I will do those at $6 a piece. Whoever wants 36 or 38. And those will be $6 a piece. Tippy wants 38. That's the trolley. Mm -hmm. And that's $6. So that's Christy. So the only one I have left now is the donkey, and it's number 36 for $6. Is that what the trolley was? Yes, the trolley was also six, yep. Yes. Okay. Yes, I have you for the, the trolley, Christy. So the only thing I have left is the little donkey here. It's about three inches tall and about two and three quarters wide. If anyone's interested in that, it's six dollars. Terry, <laughs> it's a donkey, Terry. That's all right. 
I'll hang on to it. Um, let me, okay, now I'm going to go through each one of my papers just real quick and see what I've missed, if I've missed anything, offering it back to you guys. Because I want to offer everything back at a less price. The huck towels. Is one. The huck towels I did not offer back. Um, okay. The huck towels, it's the three-piece towel set. They're number 47. It's the, it's the embroidery work. I had them for $12. I'll do 10 on the three-piece set. This is the little uh, girl walking her little dog. Um, no major stains or tears or holes or anything like that. And this is pink. They do, these two do have the crocheted, crocheted or tatted edges. Uh, the only spot I found on any of them, which I don't even consider it as anything, is that one little place right there. Uh, they were $12. I'll do 10 on the set, number 47, if anyone's interested in those. And the embroidery work's done really nice on them. Let me change the number on those. Um, okay, let me while I'm on this page. Look, yeah, I don't know. The honeybee pot. Where did it go? I don't know if I offered it back yet. The honeybee pot. Um, I had eleven dollars on it. It's number fifty, and um, I will do nine. Had it at eleven. I'll do nine. It's number fifty. If you're interested in it. Precious lavender buttons, I have you for number 47. Oh, I don't. That's okay. You go ahead and do what you're doing over there. I'll take care of this. They were $10 for the uh, huck towels okay. and the honey pot, I marked down to nine. And precious lavender buttons, tuck it as well. Oh, you're taking both of them? She is, yes. Okay. Okay, got those done. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that page over there because it's done. Uh, the bluebird salt and peppers I've done offered them back at ten dollars, but I do eight. I'm just trying to sell things, guys. You know, I'm just trying to get them get things done so I can move new stuff in. And it is number thirty-five on the bluebirds, and I got them marked down to eight. Uh, yeah, eight dollars for the set of salt and pepper shakers if you'd like them they are marked japan number 35 oh okay i didn't see it sorry sorry this is the monkey planner who wanted to see it? Let's see. Christy says, Brenda. Okay. Uh, okay, Brenda. Uh, it is number 29. I started it at 15 and I marked it down to 12. If you're interested in it, just type in number 29. Now, I, it does have some issues. See the chipping there on the front. But like I always say, it's, it's black. You can put a little permanent marker over it. And it's number 29. I had it at 15. I will t take 12 if you're interested. I'm going back and looking in the... Um, the chips are right on his little uh, vest there on the front. I'm, I'm trying to hold it up there. You can see it. Um, it's just like little chips of the paint that has um, rubbed off or chipped off right here. Uh, and there's a little spot right here. Um, his ears are good. His head, everything else is good. Um, like I said, to 12. Unless, you know, I mean, Brenda, if you want to shoot me a price on it, you can do that too. Uh, I have it at 12 right now.
that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Our, we are, I think everybody's having a little bit of delays today. I heart whole thing. Number All right. Sounds good, Brenda. I'll do that. Ten dollars for the monkey planner. Oh God, what number? Was that? <laughs> Mom's like, oh my goodness, what number was that? Twenty nine. Yep. Okay. And she took it for ten dollars. And she's gonna have it for ten dollars. Yep. I don't mess around when it comes to things. I want to sell stuff. I want to move it on. So we'll and put. Um, I'm like a big rat dog. Brenda, Brenda, yeah, I got that one. Um. And then what was the other one was the lion ashtray. Let me find it. But I said, do you remember? Ah, right here. The monkey planner. I heart got that. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome, Brenda. All right, Terry, I have the lion. Which I just think he's cool looking. He's sort of, the way he's cut, it's sort of geometrical looking, you know. Oh, that's... Okay. Um, the lion is number 53. And Terry asked about it, so we're going to let Terry have first grabs at it. Um, he was, uh, let's see if we find him. He was number 53. We started him at 10, marked him to $8 already. We'll do 7 This one's not mine. <laughs> $7, Terry, if you're interested in this one. We'll do 7 If you want it, Terry, just type in 53. His little face is right here. He's just cute as can be. No, I don't do this very well. I can't ever get my camera not to, to do that. But he's a cutie. Okay, okay. Terry wants him for seven. Uh, what I do with sticker? Okay. All right, we're just about done, guys. I think we're going to round it out. I'm trying to see what the else. The only thing left on that page is the big bad dog and the pixie washing well. Yeah. But okay. Um. Let's see. No. 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 All the things good there. The yellow tin. The yellow and black tin. I have it left, guys. It was already marked down to eight. I will do six if anyone's interested in it. Six dollars on the ten. If anyone's interested in the ten. It's a black with a yellow flower. And there's a, I thought there was a bird, but I think it was a flower. Because I, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, it's a bird on it. And no, nope, it was 30. a bird. It's number 30. And I'm gonna do it for six dollars, number thirty. If anyone's interested in that, number thirty for the uh, ten. Okay, so we're doing six dollars on the ten and precious lavender got that. So that leaves that whole page. The only thing we had left was the duck toothpick holder, and I already dropped the price on that as low as I can do. The duck toothpick holder I've done marked to four dollars. That's as low as I can go on that. I'm I'm actually making a dollar on it, guys. That's it. But that's my money back, you know. So I have the duck number twenty one. If anyone's interested in it, it's for four dollars. Um. Okay, so that's everything off that one. I'm gonna lay that under this paper. Um. I have these guys here. Oh, I'm showing her bits. I'm sorry. I had them. Um, they are number 33. I've already, they were 16. I've marked them to 14. It's going to be a little crazy. I think I'm just going to be a little crazy. I just want to sell them. They're $11. If anyone's interested in them, $11 for the set. That's $5 off the first starting price. 
They are number 33 if anyone wants these. They're in great condition. No chips, cracks, anything like that. Um, $11. Number 33. change the price on those so I don't forget. And we're done with that page. And done. Got to come back. Okay, guys, is there anything else that I had that um, you want that I didn't reprice. Do, can, can you see what number 12 there? I did mark that down. Did, did I mark number 12? Yes, I'll keep them. Yeah, I, yeah, I done did those. Um, all right, guys. Um, can you think of anything else I had that you would be interested in that I did not sell? Not the dog. What is it? Oh, the big-eyed dog planner. Where do you go? I think I showed that again. I don't know. I think. I think I did. I don't know now. Dang it. I don't remember. Um, what number was it? Number 51. Number 51. Uh, right here. Number 51. Did you mark it down already? You marked it down to $10. For the big-eyed planter here. Do nine? Anything you want to mark it to. I don't care. Okay. Mom says she'll take nine for her planter. If someone's interested in the big eyed dog planter, nine dollars, number fifty one. And I think that's going to round it up, guys. Yeah, we've done an hour, over an hour more. Like I know. We, we went a little <laughs> long today. But, you know, when the next person's coming up having a video, I decided not to have it until later. I don't mind running a little longer. All right. Well, if there was anything that um, you've seen that I didn't sell, which is very few items I did not sell. So just about everything. Perfect, guys. Appreciate it all everything uh tried to look over and make sure um yeah we're done. i think i think so guys i think that's it just remember to give me a thumbs up if you want if not then give me a thumbs down i'm okay with that too um how we're, how we need to do it <laughs> thank you terry thank you sandra thank you jo joanne precious lavender buttons um thanks brenda Thanks for everybody that bought from me. I appreciate it. Blue Flamingo. I'll get everybody's stuff out. Like I said, if you haven't bought from me before, send me your information. I will um, get your orders all packaged up. Uh, I usually, if I have your invoices or your uh, information, I try to get it out within 48 hours. Um, and I will get all of that done for you guys. Uh, appreciate everything you did. Remember to like, share, subscribe, tell your neighbor, tell your, you know, whatever, everybody. Um, and I will see you next Sunday, same time, same place. Um, I will be trying, I want to do my best. I really want to get it done this week is putting out that extra video. Cause I have some other items that, um, I want to, I want to price to y'all too. All right. Stay well guys. See you later. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Have a good night.